Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video is my Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Try-On Haul. The anniversary sale is open to the general public. Brief disclaimer, some of the stuff or maybe a lot of this stuff is sold out. I set up notifications through the Nordstrom app on my phone to let me know when things were back in stock that I had in my wish list, and they've done a really great job of doing that. I have gotten several notifications throughout the day, every day uh, that the sale has begun, letting me know what's back in stock. And so I would say even though a lot of this stuff is showing as sold out, try and visit your Nordstrom store or set the notification alerts on the Nordstrom app so that that way you'll know if it comes back in stock because things are going in and out of stock very, very frequently as always. But the notifications actually have been a really, really big help. So that would be my first word of advice and disclaimer for the stuff that I'm showing in this video. Another thing to note is that I ordered everything in a size 2XL and less otherwise noted. I think I've only got one item that is not a 2XL. That aside, there is a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm starting out with coats first because for me, the Nordstrom anniversary sale really, really shines where coats are concerned. That's where you can save money on a bigger investment piece and they've got so so many different coats to choose from. And I have to honestly say that every single coat I got, I got three of them, are amazing. But they do have their little quirks. The first coat that I am trying for you is this Halogen Floral Jacquard Plaid A-Line Coat. And it is a stunner. It is so pretty. The coat itself is really, really beautiful. I love the fact that it has an A-line bottom. It's not your typical straight up and down coat. The one thing I will say about this coat though is that the sleeves do run a bit snug. If you have thicker arms like I do and you wanna wear a thicker sweater underneath it, you're not gonna be very comfortable. For us petites, it is going to hit below the knee, but uh, for coats, I don't have a problem with that because I don't necessarily like to have things hitting me at the knee, especially when it comes to coats. I prefer to have them longer so that they're covering any skirts that I might be wearing underneath it. I would say outside of the arms being a little bit small for thicker armed women, this is an excellent coat. I think it fit, it buttoned. It was just a really, really beautiful, beautiful coat. The next coat that I tried on was the other one that really, really, really caught my eye and I was like so eager to try it. And it is another halogen belted wool blend coat and guys this coat is so soft and so 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 pretty even though it's a wool blend i did not feel that at all it is like heavenly soft and the sleeves fit pretty well just a teensy a smidge too tight but very very workable you could get away with this coat if you have thinner arms this coat's perfection it is such a beautiful saturated teal color it is a great length i was able to wear it closed it's really really a beautiful beautiful coat it has interesting pockets the pockets are, are slash pockets or it, well i wouldn't say they're slash pockets but they kind of look like slash pockets and they extend all the way Way to the to the side seam so they're quite roomy but I do like the way that looks I don't think it looks bad I don't they didn't gape or anything like that on me um, it's a beautiful beautiful coat I have to say that this one is not sold out right now and it is a stunner by the way when i say sold out i mean sold out in a 2xl because that's what i have in my wish list nordstrom will tell me if my size is not available but there that doesn't mean that other sizes are not available the last coat that i tried was actually my favorite and it is the nordstrom belted long line vest and again in a 2xl this coat was remarkably soft. It is so, so pretty. It looks really good on the website. I would have to say that it looks really, really good in person. Absolutely stunning. I love this coat for you ladies who are in a warmer climate and want to get in on the coat action, but it's too hot. This is the coat for you because it doesn't have sleeves, so it's gonna keep your core nice and warm, but the rest of you is nice and cool. 
Even for my climate, which tends to get really cold, I would totally wear that. I would wear that into December and then I would pop it out again in the spring because it is the perfect transitional coat, I think. It did close on me. It uh, was very comfortable. It was really classically tailored. This one is the one that I am seriously considering hanging on to because I love it. I think that it is beautiful. It is so good. I really love the fact that the collar is so big. Even with being a petite, I didn't feel overwhelmed in the coat. I didn't feel like it was taking me over. And I could see myself wearing this coat a million different ways. So keep an eye out, have your alerts on, and stock the site for this coat because this one is the one in my opinion. So now moving on to separates. The first top that I wanted to talk about was the one that I am wearing right now. This is one that I actually bought a couple of years ago at the anniversary sale. So it is one of those repeat items that they have at the sale. This is a um, sleeveless V-neck top from Vince Camuto in the leopard print. Um, and I also will be showing the black and white polka dot version of it. These tops are actually really, really great. I love them because they instantly dress something up. These are absolutely great workwear options. I really, really like them a lot, but there are a few things that I have to say about these. This one that I originally bought a couple of years ago, I bought it in the 2XL, which is my actual size. And the review said that it fits really, really big. And I would agree with that. It is very roomy. However, this style of shirt for Vince Camuto does have a little bit of an issue. If you don't get them in your true size, you could have a little bit of an issue with the um, neckline and the shoulder line right here with it kind of bunching up a little bit. This was a much bigger issue with the sleeved version of these tops. I actually had the black and white polka dot in the sleeved version and I did not like it because it was too constricting here. So you have to take that into consideration with these tops. I actually sized down for the black and white polka dot one and while I don't have that issue a lot, it does have that a little bit, but not anything that I, I can see or feel is bothersome. So what I would say with this top is that yes, it is true that it runs a bit large, but if you are larger chested, you may want to go ahead and stick with your size. Do not size down as it advises in the uh, reviews or on the Nordstrom site. I would say stay with your actual size because otherwise if you size down, you may encounter that pulling here at the shoulder. Otherwise, you're not gonna get that. With this one, I don't have that at all. With the black and white polka dot one, I do have it slightly. They are a little bit loose and billowy around the hips, so if you don't wanna tuck your shirt in, these are actually quite nice and they will fit wider hips and a bigger belly. I like to tuck mine in or do a half tuck with them. I would have to say that these two tops are serious workhorses in my work wardrobe. So if you're looking for some really nice tops to add to your work wardrobe, I would say try these out and see how it fits you. If you really like it, then definitely grab them. The skirt that I'm trying these on with is not a part of the anniversary sale, and I don't even think that they have this anymore. It's a ponty knit pencil skirt from Halogen. I think they're carrying Vince Camuto as the Ponty pencil skirt of choice at Nordstrom. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there, but this particular skirt is not a part of the anniversary sale. It's just one that I have had in my closet for quite some time. So the next set of tops that I have are all gonna be from one state. I really liked their offerings this year. And so I grabbed a few from the sale. The first one is this smocked sheer top. And I picked up the forest green or the, they call it ponderosa pine, which is perfect. And I have to say that I didn't have high hopes for this little top, but oh my goodness, it is lovely. I was really surprised by how much I liked it. Even with the, um, the neckline, the way that it is, it's got a little ruffle on it and it does have two buttons in the back and it fit fine. It wasn't constricting or itchy or anything like that. I, I thought maybe the chiffon might be itchy. Nope, it's very soft. It's really nice. The smocking on the top is very, very forgiving and flattering, I think. It's very form-fitting and they've got it in multiple colors. This is great for the fall, for the office. I wouldn't say it's a wear now because of the sleeves and such, but once the weather turns a bit cooler, 
absolute absolute stunner of a top and the colors are all really really pretty so definitely recommend that one so the next top that i have for you is this mixed floral tie neck blouse you know that i love a dark floral i had to try this and i was really really surprised again by how much i liked it how flattering it is it's got a long balloon type sleeve with elastic at the wrist it's got pleats on the sleeve it has the tie at the at the top it is a little bit shorter that's good if you don't like tucking your tops in but you don't want to wear something really long absolutely could wear it to the office you could wear it out and about outside of the office and regular life. This is a really, really nice top. Definitely one worth looking into. The next top that I tried on, I have mixed feelings on. It is this one state pleated bib top. So it's got really beautiful pin tuck pleats on the top here, which are very, very nice. I love, love, love the way that looks. However, it kind of billows out on the belly from there. If you are plus size, especially if you have a rounder belly, you could kind of tread into the is she pregnant, is she not pregnant zone. You know what I mean? And that's kind of the mixed feeling that I have about it because when you look at it head on, it looks really good. It's very cute, really, really pretty. Doesn't look good tucked in. So this is one that I think would is definitely better left out, but the side view, <laughs> yeah, not so flattering from the side view, especially if you have a larger chest. I don't have a very big chest, and yet I still saw that it kind of ballooned out a little bit from the side view. It has really nice smocking on the sleeves. It has a V-neckline. It's got beautiful covered buttons going down. I selected the deep plum shade, which I think is stunning for the upcoming season. Really pretty but a little bit problematic for me not for everyone though if you really really love this style and you don't have an issue with you know your belly being too round or or you know it draping over your belly kind of like a maternity shirt then you're good um for me personally though i would have to say it is a pass the next thing i'm showing you are this pair of halogen relaxed wide leg pants i really really like these guys i have been on the hunt all year long for a great pair of wide leg trousers in black these are actually really lightweight fabric so i could easily get away with wearing these right now I love the way they fit around the waist there. They have kind of like, they've got a, like a faux fly and they even have a faux pocket, you know, slash pocket in the back, but they're fully elasticated. So they're pull on pants and I couldn't be happier about that. They are so incredibly comfortable around the waist. They do give the illusion though of being trousers. The pockets are in really great placement. The only thing that I would say is that they run super, super long, which, if you are a Nordstrom card holder, you do have alteration dollars. So I would absolutely get these altered for my length. I would leverage that alteration money that I have and have these shortened because they are very, 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 very comfortable. If you are in a cooler climate, these might not be thick enough for the colder weather. So do keep that in mind. They are pretty thin, but they are made of a lovely crepe kind of fabric. I really love how these pants drape. I think that they are really, really nice. Moving on to dresses. The dresses for the most part were a fail. <laughs> I ordered three different dresses, only one of them fit. The first dress that I ordered was from Eliza J and I should have known better because Eliza J at the Nordstrom anniversary sale has got two different sizes. They've got the straight sizes and they've got dresses in plus size. But this particular dress that I I really had my eye on it's a teal balloon sleeve dress it's a size 18 but it is not an 18 women's it is a straight 18 so I think it fits kind of like a 16 maybe even a 14 it has a zipper in the back I could not get it to go up so I'm not even showing it to you on my body but it is a really, really beautiful dress if you are a bit more slender than I am and you're looking for a really lovely dress for work or you could even dress this up, I think, for an occasion. I think it's beautiful because the color is a stunner and I love, love, love those balloon sleeves. I think that they are so pretty. It is definitely one to pick up if you are straight size or maybe a smaller plus size. The next dress that I, that I picked up was the marble print open edit 
open back dress. I ordered it in a 2XL and I could not get it over my chest. I was intrigued by the pattern. I thought it was really pretty. And besides, I like the shape, the style of the dress. You would definitely want to size up in this dress if you are interested in it. If it had fit, I would have liked it a lot. The last dress that I wanted to try and that I actually did like more than I thought I would is this twist neck animal print midi dress from Halogen. I ordered it in a 2XL. This one is stretchy. And so it is a very forgiving. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing shapewear with all of the garments that I'm showing you. You really do need to have shapewear under this dress because it is very, very clingy and it won't show lumps and bumps. I don't think so much because of the pattern and the color, but um, things will wiggle and jiggle in this dress and you'll be able to see that. It's a long dress on the model. It's a midi length. And so for me being petite, it's a maxi length. The twist neck is actually quite flattering. And I really did like this dress. I thought it was very, very pretty, really, really comfortable, a really great dress, I think, for the winter months. Okay, so moving on to shoes. I only picked up a couple pair. I wasn't feeling the shoes this year. The first pair that I'm trying out for you is they looked really pretty in principle, but the fit was not there for these shoes. These are the Charles by Charles David Esty Quilted Mule. I picked up the pair in burgundy and I really love, love, love that quilted design that they have. I love the fact that you've got these little studs in there as well. They're really, really beautiful as far as like looking at them, but trying them on, this vamp goes all the way up to your ankle. For me at any rate, this bit would rub at that point where my foot and my leg meet. These are a no. If this had not been as long as it is, if it had maybe come to here, absolutely would have loved these shoes because they do have a little bit of a heel so they're going to be a bit more forgiving as far as like the comfort level they are very very stunning i absolutely love the quilted studded detail that is so luxe to me but just it's a no because of the vamp being so high up on my foot if that's not an issue for you then I would say absolutely pick these up because they are a great loafer mule. The next pair of shoes are the one thing that I knew for sure that if they fit, I was gonna keep. And it's these pointy toed mules by Steve Madden. In the solids, the chain links on there are the same color as the leather. So it kind of blends in. On these, because they are a fabric, it's in a really beautiful complimentary black matte. And I have to say that these are fabulous. These are as beautiful as I thought they were going to be. I am going to hang on to them because I really, really love the fabric. I mean, there is just something about Glenn Plaid that speaks to my soul. These are a great little pop of something. It's got tones of like a plummy burgundy, a black tan camel in here. And so these are going to be a workhorse, I know, for me in my shoe wardrobe. And I'm so happy that I ordered them. I did order my true size. Um, I didn't have to size up on them. The vamp fits, hits at just the right spot for me. These are fantastic. So even if you don't want the herringbone uh, print, fabric print on here, um, I would say grab one of the ones in leather because they're actually quite flattering and really, really nice. That is everything that I have from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I didn't pick up anything beauty. I didn't pick up anything home. I am going to visit the store at some point this weekend. So if you are interested in me doing a shop with me, even though it is kind of late in the game for the sale, let me know in the comments down below and I am happy to put that video up for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful in any way, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that would really help my channel out. I can use all the help that I can trying to get to 10k subscribers before the end of the year so help me to get there your help would be greatly appreciated if you aren't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my content thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me I truly appreciate it remember to live your life filled with confidence grace and style I will see you in my next upload bye